After he gets old, the, yeah. the water retains yeah. into the wrinkles. Yeah, like you see, like you don't have the wrinkles, like, yeah, when the tree is really old and it's almost ripe, like the fruit, like it tries to hold on to all the moisture it can mm -hmm. compared to a raisin. Yeah. You know, a raisin tastes better than a grape. It's yeah. so much sweetness. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with a wrinkled grape. It holds on to so much moisture. Yeah. And then, then you open it because the next ready to eat, it's like the sweetest one it'll ever be. Or what it is is that maybe the moisture is inside the more the rind. So there's less moisture in the fruit. Like that's what a wrinkle is. It shrivels up. So the moisture is somewhere else, which leaves more sugar behind. Leaves more sugar. Leaves more flavor behind. Yeah, less watery. Just like a raisin or a fruit, you know, a plum turns Yeah, yeah, just dried fruit in a way. Yeah, yeah, totally. It shrivels up to hold on. Beautiful. Let's eat. Trying little pod. Oh. It's kind of set. It's like a Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's for a flavor. That's a Sambuca. That's a Sambuca flavor. It's like white chocolate rum. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They won't let us bring it home. Not grow here. Not legal. Illegal. They can't. We won't eat. Can't <laughs> no can plane. do. They won't let us fly with it. No can. This can. Where am I going to put it though? Where? You put it in plastic bag, okay? Yeah. You wash it clean first. Mostly. Yeah. And then I'm putting them in the freezer. Don't put it in the freezer at all. Mm. Okay. Mm. No need. No need. Yeah. Okay. You wash it pretty clean. Okay. Thank you. You said we can wash clean the seed, take home. Bring one of the seeds. That's what the seed pile is doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, white chocolate rum. Mm -hmm. You can grow it. Yeah, this pod tastes different, too. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. This is definitely fresh. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I'm telling you, just look, look at the stem every, every time. Hey, you're wrong. 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 They won't grow in Florida. They won't grow in the U.S. No, they'll grow in Florida, I bet. Maybe they will, but it Maybe. won't be ideal. Australia, they're starting to take in Australia now. Go to Jamaica. Let's grow some durian in Jamaica. In Perth, maybe you can try. Perth, yeah. Oh, there's more. Mmm. That's it, bro. Wow. I'm gonna pick them then. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of practice. Right. The more you eat, the more you know. You spend a month here. By the time the month is over, you know how to pick them. Yo, there's two pods on top of each other there. Unless you're Kane. Well, he does that on purpose though, you know. Oh. So good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. What is Sambuca? Did you say Sambuca style? It's, it's an after dinner drink. It tastes like liquor. It's a Sambuca style, though. Yeah, you know what Sambuca is, right? It's like, it's like a I never got into drinking. Uh, I did, but didn't get into drinking culture. I was in college. Then I got healthy. <laughs> I did it later in life, but it's like an after dinner drink. Very sweet. It tastes like licorice. It's freaking delicious. Sambuca. Mm. Oh my god. Some of these buildings do have a flavor like that. It's the original Sambuca. Look at that, man. <laughs> You're a top guy. <laughs> the top pot is usually more yeah, uh, flavorful, it's sweeter, more ripe because mm -hmm. it ripens from the top. Mm -hmm. yeah, what do you mean the top of the? Uh, yeah, I have this on? one though. I just yeah. have this one. So the second pot here. If you have a durian that's a little underripe, oh. go just go for the top. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is like my ideal. Ideal durian. Mm, this is goat. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is Amazing. Perfect, perfect texture. It's like mild, but still sweet. Yeah, it's not too pungent in any way. Perfect texture. How does it get even better? No, you don't answer the question. You never answer that. You just like let it turn. Yeah. Because you follow Sasha, right? 
Yeah. She says that every day. Got me into it. Oh, I think it totally works out. I've, I've been practicing it like the past few years. It works for your work. It's like writing a gratitude list. Access consciousness? Yeah, it's like writing a gratitude you know list. Like if every day for 21 days, if you write a gratitude list, Hmm. So you ask, with your brain, like, you ask questions like, "How can I get any better than this?" And then the universe will show you. Mm -hmm. But you don't an you don't look for answers. You just keep asking the universe, right. like, "How can life get more get more exciting?" Yeah. It's the power like of thought, you know? right? Okay. Power of belief. I can see that. I do. I do. Oh the, I, I sort of do that already in a way. I have a friend. She uh, she has she has this exercise where you basically talk about your day uh you talk about something you want as if it already happened yeah exactly for example you know like so in the you, present tense yeah, yeah well actually in the past tense even better talk about it in the past tense oh okay like yeah, let's say it took like yo man we had such an amazing day at the market today we went and got durian <laughs> we had got some sugar cane juice it was tasty i like to do that i like to do that at the oh, end of the day too the but no talk about it right now yeah. Talk about what you want as if you already got it. Oh, I see. I see. Like in the past, like tomorrow. What if? Like what do we want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow was such a beautiful. You know, not say tomorrow, but such a beautiful day. Like we actually woke up and got like plenty of coconuts, and like we went to the market again and got more. Like had a, another amazing durian like this. It was a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Not negative, because then you actually because it's all about feeling. It's if you actually about realizing your words manifest your reality. Exactly, you know? but it's really all about feeling. All your body, all the universe knows is feeling. So if you are creating the feeling of being grateful for something you already got, yep. then you actually get it. Yep, mm -hmm. it's true. That's how I end up getting here. I already talked about Malaysia as if I was, as if I was already here. That's how you got here, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Mm. Oh yeah, that one's got a nice rum, rum cake. It does have a slightly alcoholic taste to it, huh? Just some pieces, yeah. But yeah, some of the pods are The one's closest to the bottom. Sweet. Yeah. See, now, right now, like, with this durian, I'm like totally satisfied. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. As you, with you like a lower of quality of durian, yeah. you, you would want, you more. want like you another. You a couple of these good ones, you feel pretty good. Like, I don't really you're crave, full. Full. I don't really crave durian anymore. Yeah. You're like, you're no, full. I don't need any more. This is good. Unless we find a Sula for that. Oh, Amazing. Good. It yeah. tastes like uh, white chocolate rum. Alcohol. Just the yellow one. Mm -hmm. It's the yellow one more better. Because he likes only sweet drinks. I actually prefer the white one. Might I take a pizza? Sure. I share with my friend. Mm, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Let me texture, dude. I don't really do the unchewable texture. Yeah, it's good pickle. It's definitely a pretty good one this time. Mm -hmm. Tell me, when you find a wet stem, I'm like, oh, you have a little bit of Bum bum gun.